mental masturbation with myriad manifolds of many-fold pragmatically applied manifestations drippingly glistens with tessellations of awesomely graceful awkwardness and injections to the mystery patience of the imagination it does forsooth dislodge and catapult gooey wet flotillas of scintillas of intimations of habitual moment to moment daily affirmations that greet us every time that we wake up fall asleep Sleep with incomplete, yet totally replete reconciliations among the many fractured, self-similar fragments of ourselves, partially alienated from ourselves through unbidden varieties of separation of the self from itself, and it thereby mega magi magnetically and gleeful splash tacitically titillates and on occasion lubricates the process process of ongoing sustained recalibrations of all self-centric orientations. Mental masturbation slices through thoroughly rotten apples with unerringly delicate precision and it unhesitatingly wobbles when it makes its introductions. It makes love to the minotaur's pimples and it ferments beer using, using secretions from Chewbacca's nipples with freakishly exegetical exuberation. It wears sunglasses at midnight in the dead alive of Alaskan winter, and it pats the asses of songbirds while stringing their songs into moonlit garlands of frosty wine glasses that shiver and shimmer. It sucks lightning from the shaman's staff and spits it into the lungs of children living inside the hearts of those old who are ever less inclined to laugh. Mental masturbation, while savoring the rich interplay between flesh and shadow and flickery orange light of a freshly decapitated wild boar head in a dark room, bathing alluringly in the glow of several, several antique candles, while resting upon a dresser draped with a maroon silk tablecloth, appreciates pretty darn well the, the gracious, useful, liberating, fun kindness of giving others the benefits of too many doubts to count while striving to get better at getting to know other persons, better persons, and it hints that this purpose is further dearly enriched, made more crisp through repeated exertions of selfless immersions while juggling many different versions of words, thoughts, and actions, including a conscious cautiousness towards unexamined impressions. Mental masturbation in the black of the blackest dark flurry night mixes within throughout the rain at half hour human rooftops and mingles and tingles and fingles with this roof rain and sprinkles and tinkles and goes bling bling with the roof rain steam like rising steam upwardly and upwardly it goes up into the sky it flows and incalculably above the clouds it flows and it kind of sort of snows upwards up past way gone and beyond the orbit of mars and right up into them frosty interstellar gases and those snowy stars. It figure skates curly cues around constellations and drinks directly from the cosmic microwave background radiation. It enters trans-dimensional portals that are clearly posted. Do not enter. And it uh, pole dances around the black black hole 
around the plasma jet spitting from the black hole at the galactic center. It gallantly swing dances with star systems while winking knowingly at all the cosmological indiscretions. It fondles asteroids, juggles comets, and kneads the atmospheres of gas giants into orbiting pearls, which it uses to place bets on which are the soon-to-be life-bearing worlds. It traffics pornography between galactic civilizations, yet always, always faithfully returns to our humble solar system like a pinball of pure liquid oozing love evolution solution ricocheting boom 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 between all the planets and straight back splat upon the earth's atmosphere's outer reaches it squeezes the air up there as it pleases and seeks towards where humanity sleeps it sneezes a sea of pleasing releases as it unleashes its Self cascading throughout the sky, it falls and falls ever so softly. It falls as rain, raining upon our sleeping human cities and in moistening our hair, remembering exactly everything about each and every person's childhood, which is worth remembering. Mental masturbation, tiptoes, teeter totters, wibble wobbles through wind caress, daisy strewn, green, yes, grassy, sunny meadows made entirely out of not atoms, but out of perfectly imperfect, pure circles. So many, many haphazardly, symmetric, squishfully precise, geometrically tainted circles, each balancing every single other circle with whirly, emphatic, equal poise. It remembers that everything which is or can be known is part of a story and that every story ever told or to be told would seem to contain at least one circle harnessing the circular incisions of intelligent indecision mental masturbation circulates through so many many circumnavigations of circumferences of circumstances it perances from one circle to the next while juggling fancy, interpenetrating golden rings, it dances, listening to far-off inviting musical, magical things. It avalanches down mountains of vast, circular expanses, nose diving endlessly towards the center, equidistant from all extremes, and yet always it still always has enough elbow room remaining for a few rhombo trapa dodecahedroidozoidal sideways glances. Mental masturbation, serenades, luscious golden kittens with star constellations in their eyes and swims through seas of breathing rainbow halo breezes sipping teas of inquiry with ten thousand japanese socrateses all of whom are dissolved throughout a gazillion water drops which splash out into the wide free air and fall as mist upon the rump of a rhinoceros-shaped circular disc smelling the sun-lit hair of a female human child wearing a rosy red dress in a wind-caressed green, yes, grassy, sunny meadow. And the rhinoceros is the little girl's pet, and she tenderly sniffs it back.